Today I'm going to share with you how to precisely restore old photos without changing it one bit. You see when you try to restore photos with AI, it either changes parts of the image or maybe even the pose. We want to keep the soul of the photo absolutely intact with every edge, every detail in the exact same place. And today I'm going to share with you a workflow to do this with a combination of Photoshop and AI. And using this method, I was able to recover and restore historic and iconic photos without changing any detail at all. So here's how to do it. First, we have directly opened the photo into Photoshop just to crop. You can use any application for it. You see, many of these AI applications have fixed aspect ratios in which it can generate photos. Many of them have 1 is to 1, 2 is to 3, 4 is to 5, 16 by 9, and many of those aspect ratios. If your image is somewhere between that, it will shift a bit more likely than not. So first, crop your image into a standard aspect ratio. Press C for the crop tool. And for this image, I'm just going to choose maybe 4 by 5. Let's see what it does. No. 2 is to 3. That is perfect, that is the closest. Hit enter or return. You can even expand it, that's up to you. I leave that to you. Now let's export this one and remember, it was two is to three. Go to file, export, export as, and simply export it however you want. I'm just gonna keep it JPEG, increase the quality, that makes very less difference, but why take a chance? Let's name this example one, two by three. Click on export. Now in the second part of the video is where we do our AI processing. Before we move any further, I wanted to clear one thing up front. I tried my best, but I couldn't find a good quality AI that is free. You see, when it comes to using these AI resources, it takes a lot of processing power in the cloud. And it's very hard to make it available for free. I truly wish I could tell you there was an absolutely free way without having to buy $10,000 graphics cards, but at the moment, there isn't. And it's just way more convenient to use platforms that have a lot of AI models within them. You can use whatever you wish. I have been using FreePick for a long time and paying for it as well. If you wanna check it out or even get a trial, I don't know if they have a trial, I'll leave a link in the description. Simply go to Image Generator. Now from my tests, I have seen that for now, Seadream 4.5 does an incredible job of keeping the details intact while restoring. So from the model dropdown, simply pick Seadream 4.5 and we have to upload the same photo that we exported in the exact aspect ratio. Click and drag and drop it right there in the upload section. Secondly, you wanna make sure you set the resolution to 4K and you can generate four images at once. Most important setting right there is the aspect ratio. As I told you, it has fixed number of aspect ratios. So don't pick anything between that export it in the proper aspect ratio and pick that right here. Since we did it in two by three, pick two is to three portrait right there. Now prompts are very important to make sure everything is restored perfectly. And there's a trick there. Let's type in a simple prompt. Restore this photo to look as if it were taken today with high resolution modern digital camera. That's it. You can also type in in color. Now here's the trick. You can also turn on AI prompt to improve the prompt, that's up to you. And go here prompt editor and simply click on enhance prompt and it does an incredible job of expanding it even more. Click on apply prompt and simply click on generate. As you can see, all of them are very similar to the original with varying degrees of restoration. In this case, this one looks pretty amazing. So why don't we go with that? Simply download it by clicking on export. PNG is fine and download. Now, while you're at it, you can even try a couple more prompts. I'm just gonna paste the same simple prompt again, turn on AI prompt, and inside of the prompt editor, we can enhance the prompt again. You can even add variations to it. Click on apply. Again, you wanna make sure that the resolution is set to 4K and generate a few times if you have an unlimited plan. This one also looks really, really clean to me. So let's click on that and export it as well as PNG. Now, welcome to the third part of the video. This is where we bring in the restored image and we make sure that nothing is changed. So back in Photoshop with the same image, I'm just gonna bring both of those exports by clicking and dragging and dropping on top of the canvas like so. Hit enter or return for both of them. With the first one selected, press Ctrl or Command and select the second one, press Ctrl or Command T so both of them can be adjusted and I recommend you can even stretch it. Hold the Shift key and the Alt key or the Option key to stretch it from the center. Hit enter or return. Now let's look at which one is nicer. Here's the first one, here's the second one. The second one is more cleaner, but the first one is more natural. You can choose what works for you. I'm gonna go with the first one, let's delete the second one. 
Now with the first one selected, this is a crucial step. You want to change the blend mode to difference. Difference is a blend mode which tells you whether the images are aligned or not. Wherever there's a misalignment, you will see all of these lines. For instance, if we were to press Ctrl or Command T and move it, you see all of these lines? They show that this image is not aligned. Let's go back by pressing Ctrl or Command Z. Now it is time for us to align it properly. Zoom in. Press Ctrl or Command T. With the arrow keys, take it up or down to make sure that the eyes are absolutely aligned. Now that the eyes are aligned, you want to check the eye of the other person. It's also aligned. So what is not aligned? Maybe the arms a bit? That's fine. Overall, this is good. Hit enter or return. Now change the blend mode back from difference to normal. Sometimes we may have to warp it, but this is perfectly matching. Here's the before, here's the after. Nothing is changing. Have a look at the face closely. Here's the before, here's the after. The eyes are the exact same shape. And after that, of course, you can do some enhancements like adding a curves adjustment layer, taking the right slider to the left to add more punch like so. And this just works in its favor. Now, after you have done that, don't forget to crop back your photo. For example, there will be gaps from alignment. So you can press C for the crop tool. You can clear the aspect ratio, that's up to you, or you can keep it. I'm gonna leave that up to you, and you can remove all that. Similarly, take a look at this side, take a look at the top, see if there are any issues. No issues there, no issues on this side. Hit enter or return, and then export it as you wish. Now I tried to generate one more time, and once it generated something with a bit of sunlight, and this looked incredibly cool. You can use this as well, if you are okay with introducing a little bit of creativity. Since you have stayed this long, let me share with you one more example for automatic alignment. Here I have a square photo of Anne Frank. Let's drag it and drop it right there in the upload section. I'm gonna use the exact same simple prompt, four images, and you wanna make sure that you change it to square. You can turn on AI prompt, prompt editor, and enhance prompt. There you go, apply and generate. All the results that we see right from the beginning are just amazing, and it's hard to pick one. So let's pick the first one, why not? Download it, and now let's paste it into Photoshop over the original one. Click and drag and drop right there. Hit enter or return. Now this is not high resolution document, even though this is a high resolution image. So let's increase the document size by going to image, image size, and let's set the width to 4096. Hit OK. And by the way, resampling, just set it to automatic. Now let's have a look. This is already looking fantastic. Everything is matching. Here's the before, here's the after. But it may not be completely aligning. So there's a way you can do this automatically. With that original layer selected, just make a copy just for backup by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Now we need to rasterize this one. This function will only work on rasterized layers. Right click on it and then choose Rasterize Layer. Now select both of these, the new one, hold the Control or Command, and the older one. Now let's go to Edit, Auto Align Layers. Automatic is fine, and hit OK. And it does it for you, absolutely automatically. Now if you were to change the blend mode to Difference and check, everything is mostly aligning, just so darn good. So that's how to use AI to perfectly restore photos without changing it one bit. Now there's a lot of trial and errors and I really do hope it gets better with time. The problem with AI is that it counts against your limits even if it's a bad generation. I hope they find a way to fix this but this is also a great starting point if you wanna go ahead and correct a little more. I hope this video helped you with some direction and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Oh, 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 oh,